Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be giving an in-depth explanation of all the dining halls at UCLA. So that will include dining halls and takeout places. If you did not know, UCLA is ranked number one in our dining halls. So yes, it's definitely true. The food definitely lives up to the type. If there's gonna be a reason you choose UCLA for college, the food alone is a totally valid reason. Like our food is very, very good. I'm currently a freshman at UCLA and it's our spring quarter. So I've had two quarters at UCLA now. So I feel like I can give a pretty good review of my opinions on the dining halls because you eat there every single day. So yeah, I just have some notes on my phone. I'm gonna go through each dining hall and takeout place. So first, let's start off with my favorite dining hall. We're going to be starting off with Bee Plate. Bee Plate is known as the healthy spot on campus. A lot of the food is either organic or locally sourced. So yeah, this is definitely the place to go if you are a healthy eater like me. They have a bunch of different entree options every day and then usually they typically have the same kind of sides so they usually offer for sides like brown rice steamed vegetables or like stir fry vegetables they have a salad bar a cereal station most dining halls have cereal stations the one thing about bee plate is that everything that they serve is on super small plates like all their entrees they give super small portions so some people will get annoyed by that i personally don't really care just expect that you'll be going back for seconds or third or fourth so, so yeah it's pretty typical at bee plate you'll be seeing people carrying a ton of plates with them on this day i got brown rice the stir fried veggies and then the pizza entrees that they were serving and the pizza made me feel hella bougie like they always have these really unique dishes i think that this day the pizza had like brussels sprouts and like apples as toppings so yeah they're always spicing it up at bee plate okay so we're currently at bee plate and i just picked up a couple things i got the spinach and brown rice and then i also got a couple slices of pizza they have like gourmet pizzas here and they make it like super fancy this one has like apples and cheese on it and this one has like brussels sprouts and pesto so yes very very fancy the second dining hall is Coval. Coval is known for its pasta bar so basically it's like a build your own pasta kind of thing where you can choose the noodles, the sauce, the toppings so they have different toppings like meats and veggies and stuff like that. I would describe Coval as like Italian and Mediterranean style kind of cuisine. This is definitely a popular spot for brunch on the weekends. They always have good brunch options and they always have a good dessert selection as well. They also have pizzas. Yeah, Covell is definitely like a safety spot. You can't really go wrong with it. Okay, so I'm here at Covell and I just got a pasta lunch. So I just went to the pasta bar and I'll show you guys what I got. I just got broccoli, um, the whole wheat rotini with the marinara and the chicken. The next dining hall is Deneb. This is another kind of like safety spot option because they pretty much always typically serve the same thing. I would describe Deneb's food as kind of like American cuisine. Um, pretty basic staple items. So they have like chicken burgers, pizza. Uh, they have a pretty big salad bar, which I'm a huge fan of. The day that I was filming this, I got breakfast there. So just the typical oatmeal and fruit and yogurt parfait kind of breakfast. Deneb is known for its late night food. Late night is basically, um, it's between certain hours. I believe it's like 9 to 11, but I could be totally wrong because I rarely go to late night. But yeah, basically it's a time where they serve fast food. So burgers, fries. And then the last dining hall is Feast. Oh boy, if you are a fan of Asian food, you are going to love Feast. They have everything from Chinese food to Japanese food. Um, Indian food, yeah, the list goes on. But their food is definitely really good. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage here, but here's kind of what the outside looks like. Here is like a typical menu of what Feast serves. They have like udon, 
sushi, dumplings, and oh my gosh, on Wednesdays, they recently started doing Wednesday lunch dim sum. If you're ever in the mood for dim sum, Wednesday lunch. So that is all of the dining halls at UCLA. Now I'm going to go over the takeout options. Again, let's start with my favorite one. So my favorite takeout spot is the study. The study is definitely a go-to for many students. Not only is it a great spot to get food, but it's also a great place to study, hence the name. In the middle of the study, there's a glass fishbowl kind of style room. That room is quiet and a lot of people just go there to study. So it's always super crowded during finals and midterm season. But generally, like in the evening anyways all the spots are taken there's also a blue light room at the study um, I've only been in there a couple times apparently the blue light helps you focus or something like that spots are always taken there as well but yeah since I lived in Hedrick Summit I was super close to the study so I would always go there they have really good salads sandwiches pizzas crepes um, like bakery goods And as you can see in the video, they have booths where you order at. So you just select which items you want. Typically one swipe will cover a entree, a drink, and like some sort of side. And then once you select what you want, you get your receipt with your number, and then you just wait till your number is called. During most common meal times, it can get really, really crowded. So yeah, as you can see, there is a long, long line. There have been times where I've legit had to wait 30 minutes for my meal. So if you're in a rush, this isn't the place that you can always rely on to get your food quickly, but it's definitely worth the wait. And as I said, it's my favorite to-go spot. In this video, I got a breakfast bagel, but typically my favorite thing to get is the salads. You can just, it's like a build your own salad. So yeah, the study sandwiches and salads are definitely very popular. So if you ever need to bribe anyone, study salads, sandwiches, if you have extra meal swipes, upperclassmen will love you for that. <laughs> the next to-go spot is BCAF. So BCAF is kind of divided into three different sections. There's the smoothie bar, there's the main kind of like where you order bar area, and then there's a coffee station. This is definitely a good, reliable to-go place um, for breakfast options. So I'll go here if I'm in a rush to get to my 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. class and I just want to quickly pick up breakfast. This is typically where people will go. On the day that I filmed this, I got a breakfast bowl. So it had eggs, tomato, some veggies, avocado, cheese, and again, it's kind of like a build your own breakfast bowl kind of style. BCAF has a ton of different options. So definitely worth checking out. The next takeout option located near Reaver Hall is Ronde. There's two sides to Ronde. There's Ronde West and there's Ronde East. Ronde East is more Asian kind of food and then Ronde West is more, I would say like Mexican style food. So Ronde West has your burritos, um, like things you typically get at like Chipotle, I would say. And then Ronde East, I would say is very similar to kind of like Panda Express. One type of Ronde will usually typically cover a meal. So that will include a drink and then in the to-go container, you'll get like an entree and then two sides. On this day, I went to Ronde West and I got a breakfast burrito. So again, you can just choose what options you want in it. Um, yes, please. Can I have the greens? Yeah. Um, brown rice. Again, Ronde is another very popular spot, so if you have extra meal swipes, upperclassmen will love you if you swipe them in there. If you're vegetarian, they're really popular for their impossible meat, so that's like the vegetarian meat that tastes a lot like meat. Oh, they also have a boba station, which was definitely very popular. All right, and then the last takeout option is Cafe 1919. This is an Italian cuisine kind of takeout place. They're really well known for their pizza, their paninis, and their gelato. So here's a picture of their menu. So yeah, just your typical kind of Italian style cuisine. The meal plans go by swipes and all the dining halls are kind of like an all you can eat buffet kind of style. So you get one swipe in order to enter the dining hall and then you can just eat however much you want to. And then the takeout places, one swipe is equivalent to like a set kind of menu. So that will typically include like a meal, a drink, and maybe like a side or something. So the meal plans are 11, 14, 14p, 
19, and 19P. The number represents how many swipes you have per week. P basically stands for premiere, and that means that you can swipe multiple times in a meal period. Meal periods are like breakfast, lunch, dinner, so there are certain hours that they're open. So if you don't have a premiere plan, that means like between the hours of, I think it's like 11 to 4.30, like that's the lunch period, you can only swipe in once. So let's say you go to one dining hall to have lunch, and then say after you're done with that dining hall, your friend is like, hey, wanna go to this other dining hall to hang out or something? You technically can't swipe into the second dining hall during those same hours. But I mean, that rarely ever happens, so I don't think it's a problem if you don't get the premiere plan because obviously the premiere plan is more expensive. I was on the 14p meal plan, so that means I had 14 swipes per week, which averages to two meals a day, which totally worked for me because I would typically just prepare breakfast on my own. I have a fridge and a microwave in my dorm, so I usually just keep like a yogurt in the refrigerator and like some oatmeal that I could easily microwave. Plus, if you think about it, you're gonna be eating out with friends on the weekend, so yeah, 14p was definitely enough for me. I had a ton of extra meal swipes at the end of each quarter. Each dining hall and takeout place has their own set of hours and times that they're open. They're not all open all the time, so definitely check online. Um, they're all on UCLA's website, super easy to find. The dining halls also have all their menus, the nutritional info, um, allergy info, all online as well. So they're super good with that and providing all the information. Besides a rotating menu, most dining halls also have like a cereal bar with a bunch of different cereal options and then usually they'll also have like a soft serve machine so you can always get ice cream for dessert which is the best <laughs> all right so that is it for today's video i really hope this video helped you guys out with all the different dining options on the hill if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and i will definitely get back to you on that and yeah if you found this video helpful it would mean a lot if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more i have a ton of different ucla videos so definitely check out my channel if you're interested in those and yeah until next time i will see you guys later. Bye!